We begin in Gombe State, where a group of newly elected members of uh, the House of Representatives met to consult and prepare a legislative agenda for the 10th Assembly. The 34 members from different political parties and regions also endorsed the aspiration of Mukta Betara for Speaker of the House of Representatives. We have details in this report. It is the hand of Anhera. A new administration is built to be inaugurated in a few weeks. With it comes a new National Assembly. Some elected members of the Green Chamber of the National Assembly are meeting in Gombe. Their intention is to set the agenda for their four-year term as federal lawmakers. They also gave their support to one of the ranking members of the House to emerge as Speaker. We have all agreed after our meeting that Betara will be supported from this region irrespective of political party and other uh, reasons. So despite the fact that I'm from PDP, PDP we have a large number, minority we have a large number, we have a greater majority in minority, but we need a leadership that will connect, have a connection with the executive, have a very good working relationship with the executive, most majorly with the president-elect. Beyond the politics of the leadership of the House of Representatives, these lawmakers are also focused on justifying the confidence that voters placed in them. They agree that the economy and security should be made priority. They are also committed to ensuring a smooth relationship with the executive branch of government. We are also going to work closely with the new government, most especially the president-elect, to support him in actualizing his dream to reform Nigeria. If you know what Honorable Beta has been doing, under his watch, he has been nothing like body party, budget party, sorry. He has tried to stabilize the National Assembly. He has tried to, uh, to relate with the executive arm of government to see that Nigeria gets better. Labor, APCA, PDP, NNPP, APC, these lawmakers are from different political parties and regions. They've gathered here to speak with one voice and to defend the interest of the electorate. They say that selecting the right leadership for the House of Representatives is the first step to achieving this effective representation. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe. We're still ahead. Uh, the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly, some groups from the South South have endorsed the Godswill Akwabiu as president of the Senate. They believe this will balance the religious equation at the federal level. Maria Mohammed has details. The race for the seat of the president in the 10th Senate is going to be keenly fought as senators from various geopolitical zones have shown interest in emerging the number three citizen of the country. The ruling party, the All Progressives Congress, APC, is yet to determine where the seat will be zoned to. But this has not stopped both old and new lawmakers from jostling for the position. The ruling party has a big role to play on the emergence of the next Senate president, and many support groups are trying to influence where the party will zone the seat. Various groups from the South South have thrown their support behind Senator Godswill Lapabio. These groups have expressed their support for the ruling party's president elect and vice president. They insist that for religious balance, the Senate president that will emerge should be a Christian from the South South in the person of Godswill Lapabio. They believe he has all it takes to unite the nation and ensure the 10th Assembly works smoothly with the presidency. It is only a sense of good reasoning and fair that the next Senate president, whom happens to be the number three man, should be a Christian. Hence, young people across the South South region are drumming this support. For some of us that, we don't, have, that don't have a relationship with Akpabio, we don't also want to see him, but we are fighting the cause for which we believe. And that is the same methodology that we expect to be implemented 
at the Federal House of Representatives level. The, whoever becomes the House of Reps speaker should also be a Christian, so we could balance the question. We are not pushing the religion, but we feel, like we said, that it is important for the purposes of national healing and reconciliation. Thank you. Live a pan Nigeria who has been tested and trusted, proving worthy of integrity with good character, prudent management. As a true loyal party man, she, God's will, Obong Akpabio, should be the president of the 10th Senate. The group are pushing okay. for the emergence of Christians in the positions of Senate President and Speaker of the House of Representatives, as this will bring peace and unity to the nation. Maria Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja. And as the All Progressives Congress is yet to make its zoning arrangements known with regards to the 10th National Assembly, some concerned members are asking the party to look the direction of the South South for the President of the Senate. At a news briefing in Abuja, the group urged the APC National Working Committee and the Progressive Governors Forum to consider zoning the seat of the President of the Senate and Deputy President of the Senate to the South South and Northwest, respectively. Speaking on behalf of the group, Okboku Ogeni said, both zones contributed huge votes to the victory of the governing party in the February election and should be adequately rewarded. They maintained that the duo of Godswil Akpabio and Barao Jibrin, being competent ranking senators from both zones, should be considered for the seat. We wish to remind the leadership of our party that the president-elect is for the southwest and the vice president-elect is for the northeast. As such, the Senate president should be zoned to the south-south and the deputy Senate president to the northwest, while the Speaker of the House of Representatives and deputy should be accommodated by the other zones in view of competence and credibility of honorable members. The president-elect needs highly competent senators with vast knowledge of legislative business to complement him in delivering dividends of democracy to Nigerians. I highly recommend His Excellency Senator Goswa Akpabio for the position of Senate President and Senator Barao Jubrin as Deputy Senate President, respectively. The All Progressives Congress in Oshun State has inaugurated an 11-man committee to reposition the party and reconcile aggrieved members. Inaugurating the committee at the Tinubu Shatima campaign office in Oshubu, former governor Adigwega Uyetola described Oshun State as home of the progressives despite the outcome of recent election in the state. Afu Hamid has details. The whole Progressives Congress in Osho State didn't fare well in the recently concluded general election. The party lost all the three senatorial seats, nine House of Representative seats, and 25 out of 26 House of Assembly seats to the PDP. Members of the APC have since attributed the loss to intimidation and harassment employed by the ruling PDP, as well as internal wrangling among members of the APC, which led to anti-party. Notwithstanding the setbacks, leadership of the party insists that Oshun State is the natural home of the progressives. Going forward, the party set up this committee to propose template for review of party's activities in recent times, resolve internal disputes, and set agenda for better inclusion of all in the party structure. We must also not gloss over some of the challenges caused by the excesses of some leaders and members of the party and elected officials as the inauguration of this committee. The committee, under the leadership of the former head minister, Professor Asik Adewale, will have the following as a chart of reference. The new activities of the party in recent times. Two, consider the aspect of party administration, that is, the structure, funding, discipline, and reconciliation. Three, make recommendations for an ethical reward system in our state. 
Chairman of the committee and former Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewole, on behalf of members, promised to deliver on the assignment given to them. This is the time to shift our swords, see where things are going wrong, and how we can empower the party for more excellent service delivery and function. We wish to assure His Excellency, Queen Gauritola, and all leaders of the party that we shall not disappoint you and our people. Committee to make sure that they do the job thoroughly so that uh, our party, APC, will come back or work stronger in Osun. And at the same time, I want to appeal to all the party faithful to remain calm and be rest assured that this government is still within our party. The committee has eight weeks to submit its reports. Rafael Hamid, TVC News.